Hey, Granny Gear here for 29inches.com. Stop by the Breezer booth. Wanted to chat a little bit with Joe Breeze. Uh, take a look at uh, what he's done with his Breezer 29ers in carbon. And uh, let's kind of see what he's up to. Definitely got some nice tweaks. Got a little bit of a, of a approach to this. It's a little bit unique. And uh, in a world of carbon 29ers, let's see what he's done with it. So Joe, what do you got going here, man? Well, I got my new uh, Breezer Cloud 9 Hardtail 29er. And uh, to differentiate it from the competition, I guess uh, what I'm trying to do is make a bike that's uh, real good for the, the tight twisties, what I, what's uh, near and dear to my heart uh, ever since the beginning of mountain biking. And uh, how I've done it, Troy, is uh, by uh, making the chain stay shorter. It's actually a, a 439 millimeters, not too many in the biz that, that have one that short. It's a bit of a trick to do it. Uh, what I've done, uh, of course, you got the, the pinch down here with the chain rings, and you, you got your big fat tire in there, so that chain stays pinched between the two. Now, you, you're tucking in the rear wheel. In fact, to put a little curve in the seat tube, put on the direct mount. It's not critical to do it that way, but there are some tricks that you got to contend with there. Uh, but the most important thing is probably uh, retaining the stiffness. When you pinch that chain stay on the right, you got to do something. What I've done, Probably best to view it from the bottom with the uh, the attributes of the new BB92 from Shimano. You got the press in bearing like it should be, not that uh, threaded piece hanging out there. But that gives you a big perch to plant a good stout left chain stay and still have room for the left crank, too. So uh, much bigger here to make up for chicaning by the uh, the big tire and the, and the train chain rings, uh, such as the uh, the new XTR 2x10 on our Cloud 9 Limited. And that's a pretty big tire, Joe. For those that can't tell, that's a 2.2 uh, Wolverine yeah. WTV. So that's a, that's a that's a real tire right there. Yeah. Well, people were hoping to have a big fat tire on there, and we. We jammed that in there even with the 2x10 and I think it's going to work. It has been working just fine. This is the bike I've been flying around on for, for a while here. And this looks almost like a Breezer dropout on the back too. In fact, that that's uh, my uh, early 90s uh, Breezer done in uh, carbon and also uh, carried over the, uh, the Breezer uh, Apex disc mount where I've got the uh, the caliper right inboard uh, on the uh, rigid uh, stout member of the frame, the chain stay uh, versus the seat stay, and dynamically when you put on the brake, it's forcing the wheel right into the dropout, uh, not off the back of the dropout. So it's stout, it howls less, it's lighter, it's more protected, all that good stuff. Ah, hey Joe, that's awesome, man. It's a beautiful bike, and uh, we're looking forward to riding one of these and uh, checking it out. When are, when are these going to be available? Are they already out there for dealers Late November. Now? Late November. Yeah, for the for the Pro and the Limited Cloud 9. All right, excellent. Well, we're glad to see you back uh, from the days we remember you fondly from all the years of uh, building beautiful steel bikes. So it's yeah. awesome to see you back in 29ers. Thank you. Having a lot of fun with it. There's, there's a lot more to do, let me tell you. <laughs> ah, great. All right, that's it for now from Breezer. We'll be riding one of these later, I hope. And uh, we'll report back. Take care.